Hey everybody out there, it's Indy, and I'm back to RPG a day. It is the 23rd, but I will not be recording the 23rd's question. Um, if you're part of the uh, F a Facebook RPG Brigade group, you might have seen my comment that I had five days worth of recorded, 15th through the 20th, and then I realized that I had never turned on my mic or put on my headset. So I had no audio. It's taken me a while to like, find the energy and desire to get back to redoing all of that. So I may not actually answer all the questions, the ones I had smaller, less interesting answers to. Um, but today I'll be going back and tackling uh, days 15 and 16 together. I didn't actually look at the numbers first, but I believe that's what they were. <clears throat> the two questions are basically about House ruling. Which system do you most like to modify and enhance, or maybe use enhance? And uh, which one do you like to use as is? Like several people, I'm somebody who can answer this question in one swipe because I fall firmly on one side or the other, and I fall firmly on the raw side. That is not to say that I have not house ruled things. Um, but overall, I prefer raw. In my uh, younger years, I was also a bit arrogant, and I, um, I viewed, I, I really only house ruled when I thought something was broken. That's the arrogant part. Um, now I understand that maybe there's just uh, a different intentions and different tones, and uh, you know I might have only one, I might really only have one tonal and one philosophical viewpoint to which I, I view the mechanics of an RPG through. Um, so that led me to do a, a decent amount of house ruling in my early days. I finally put down Marvel's TSR advanced, or TSR's advanced Marvel, when I realized I had four pages of, of house rules that I'd written for it. Changing the karma distribution, changing the cost of upgrades, writing rules for sidekicks, writing rules, rules for this or that. All because I didn't. What I didn't want was a, a comic book simulation. I wanted, um, I wanted a, a, a superhero sim. Second. Sorry, my nose. Um. So, I house ruled that quite a bit. Um, Rollmaster provides a billion and a half options, so I don't even feel like I have to house rule that much, but I still have. Um, and I don't, I don't have the, I didn't have the words to explain it back then. It was mostly, it was mostly to either simplify some things or to. Um, or to give my players more of what they wanted. Um, you know, hey, Berserk is really dangerous when you have to roll your adrenaline to get into it. You finally get into it, you become really dangerous, and then you have to successfully roll your way out of it, or else you might start attacking all your friends. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's really hard when you're level 2 or 3 and you haven't developed that much skill in it yet. Yet it's part of your character's offensive skills. So I did some house ruling for that. Um, Role Masters, as, as I've said before, is also a setting list system. So there is some amount of what you might call house ruling, but it's it's done to do the to make room for setting stuff. And I don't really consider that house ruling. I really only call, consider it house ruling when you say you know, hey, they say to solve this this way and that these are the cutoff lines, and I don't like that. Um, that, to me, is the house ruling. And I prefer I prefer not to do that even more now because I, I now more understand and appreciate what the design intentions that went behind it. I'm no longer so arrogant as to think, well, I know better than the designer. They must have not playtested this, or they must be stupid. Come on, really? Um, now, I have considered doing a, 
pretty major uh, house ruling of actually the role master magic system. There's a few people who look at it and say there's not enough distinction between the um, the diff three different realms of magic. And uh, I had a friend. I have a friend who the last time I actually got to play, what he did was he went through and um, actually made different ways for them to get their, their mana casting points back, or their magic casting points back, based on which realm they were. And I thought that was really, I thought that was really interesting. But I've actually considered even going farther. Like, well, you know, if, if, if channeling, if channeling realm is about coming from deities and other spirits or whatnot, why do you even have a power point pool? Yeah, I was actually thinking, like, maybe this is a place where something like D&D 4th Edition's dailies and per encounters and, and whatever abilities would actually make a bit more sense and possibly not even under the player's control. Let's really make it stuff that comes from the deities. So I've considered doing some really severe um, rebuilding of that entire system while keeping the rest of it. I've considered it. But anyways, I really don't. I don't mind changing things for the setting, but overall these days I, I try to just run things as they are. Um, more than anything, if I want to change something, if I do want to house rule something, I want to understand why is it that I'm trying to house rule it. What is my goal? What is my intention? And I've always, even going back to the four pages of Marvel house rules, I've always tried to keep a keen eye on, keen eye on, when I change this, what happens over here to all these other systems that it touches? You know, you change anything about the experience point system, especially in a point build system like, like Marvel, it ripples out to everything. It ripples out to everything that your experience points touch. So, yeah, you gotta you gotta stop and think about this stuff. So, um. I think that's, this is nothing like what I recorded before for the most part, but it's still an answer, and it's one of the interesting questions, so I wanted to come back and answer it. I don't know what my next question will be. I'll probably go ahead and answer it right now, but uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope you guys are keeping up with RPG A Day 2017. You can do for that. Search that hashtag there. Um, find tweets, find blogs, find videos, all covering these awesome questions. 